after an absolute whirlwind of a week. <laughs> it can be easy to lose track of all the chaos unfolding in Washington. So we're going to take a step back now to absorb everything that's happened here, to take a breath, and it's worth listening. Yeah. Starting Sunday, when Defense Secretary Mark Esper announced that President Trump was ordering the remaining 1,000 U.S. troops out of northern Syria, this even after Turkey had launched a military offensive into the country, threatening America's allies on the ground. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle slammed the move, claiming the U.S. is abandoning Kurdish forces who helped the United States fight ISIS in the region. A day later, President Trump took executive action to impose sanctions against Turkish government leaders and then sent Vice President Mike Pence and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to Turkey to try to broker a ceasefire. All of that unfolded. The Ukraine scandal was in front and center in Washington. On Capitol Hill, sources tell CNN Trump's former top Russia advisor, Fiona Hill, testified that Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, was pursuing a, quote, shadow foreign policy to benefit Trump. Meanwhile, the Wall Street Journal began reporting that federal investigators here in New York City are examining Rudy Giuliani's business dealings with Ukraine, as well as his bank records. Stay with us. We're only on Tuesday. Vice <laughs> President Mike Pence said he was not turning over documents related to his role in the Ukraine scandal. And Rudy Giuliani said he did not plan to comply with House subpoenas either. Meanwhile, State Department Deputy Assistant Secretary George Kent testified under oath that a supervisor told him to lie low after he raised complaints, as others did, about Rudy Giuliani's personal efforts in Ukraine. All right, we've made it to Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So on Wednesday, the House voted to condemn the president's decision to withdraw U.S. forces from northern Syria. By the way, with over 100 Republicans in the House joining in that chorus, yeah. just a little while later, top Democrats walked out of a White House meeting after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says President Trump had a, quote, meltdown that she believes was prompted by that vote. She was shaken up by it. And that's why uh, we couldn't continue in the meeting because he was just not relating to the reality of it. What we witnessed on the part of the president was a meltdown. Sad to say. Even Senator Lindsey Graham, a close ally of President Trump, called the decision to remove U.S. troops from northern Syria, quote, the biggest mistake of Trump's presidency. That's significant. As frustration mounted over the crisis in Syria, former State Department official Michael McKinley he was testifying before Congress. A source familiar with the hearing says McKinley resigned after 37 years over frustration that career, career diplomats were being undermined. They weren't being backed up. And then yesterday, acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney told a room full of journalists that aid to Ukraine was, in fact, tied to the president's wish for an investigation into the 2016 election. I have news for everybody. Get over it. There's going to be political influence in foreign policy. A few hours later, Mulvaney walked back those comments amid reports that Trump's legal team was, quote, stunned, and the president was frustrated by the briefing. Uh, by the way, what they're talking about investigating in the 2016 election uh, is a conspiracy theory that somehow the Ukrainians yeah. have the DNC server. It's yeah. just not based in fact. Earlier in the day, U.S. Ambassador to the European Union, Gordon Sondland, broke with the president as he testified, again under oath, before three House committees, saying the president directed diplomats to work only with Giuliani, his personal lawyer, on Ukraine. Vice President Pence then announced that Turkey agreed to a ceasefire in Syria, a claim that Turkish officials challenged, saying it was not a ceasefire, just a pause. Five days, folks. Just this week, all of that happened. It's a lot to absorb, but it all matters. And we will stay on top of all of it right here.